so we learned how we can kind of uh, receive this any integer number for the admins page and pass it to admin view individual function but uh, what if we need some kind of restriction here what if we need uh, for example this id to be a four digit number well for that we need to define the custom converters so this thing is called converter but uh, so, so this integer we have integer converter we have string converter and other converters but we can also define define our own converter and i already have created one of them it's called four digit admin converter and here we define our reg x regular regular expression which is four digits and here we also define uh, how our value will be translated to python it will be translated as integer and it will be translated to url as string so we have defined our four digit admin converter and then we can actually register that as for example admin id so this is actually will be the name of our converter so we have here integer converter string converter and in this case we can use admin id converter and now if we write okay sorry i need to register converter here and now as you can see if we have only one digit integer uh, url dispatcher doesn't really uh, see this because it sees only uh, admin id which is four digits and if we define four digits it's okay um, of course in this case it doesn't really make sense to kind of create all of this converter custom converter stuff because basically um, you need converters only if you really have some stuff that you need to uh, some really complicated logic which uh, affects this to python function and to url to python method and to url method but in our case basically we don't really need a custom converter but we can also use just regular regular expression here so let's delete that and let's import repf so we use this repf uh, when we actually need to define some kind of regular expression uh, in our path so we change it to repf we delete this converter but we leave this id and here we actually define our regular expression we say here r and here we using this using this as a start we define that our uh, parameter will be called id and then we define that our id should actually match uh, this regular expression then we close it and we add this stuff to the end so basically now we have created this regular expression which is saying that we have this admins page and then slash and then uh, we have this id parameter which should match this regular expression and let's restart our server and we see that this works absolutely the same way as it worked before 
with custom converter but here we don't actually uh, use too much uh, too much code but we use just very simple regular expression uh, we can define more complex stuff uh, we can define for example that we should not have four digits but we have we need to have for example this admin four digits uh, so our URL form should have this form and in order to do that uh, we write after admins again we leave that stuff but we add one more stuff admin this so this way we actually say that uh, this is not some kind of parameter here so here we uh, after after this question mark we defined p which means that we have this id parameter which should match the expression but here uh, we saying that we don't have any actual parameter but we actually have just string admin and in the end we just close that like this And now we have this kind of a regular, regular expression form. So uh, again, this is quite complicated stop topic and you should, um, in order to use these regular expressions in your URL patterns, you need to really, you need to know regular expression topic really good, which is not Django topic, but it's a separate topic and uh, actually separate field in computer science uh, this regular expression field so yeah in order to actually use it efficiently this um, regular expressions you need to put a lot of work a lot of studying here